Hi there, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about the expiry date for tea. This topic was raised by our friend Simmerjeet during one of our live sessions. It is a fantastic but often overlooked question, and I bet many of you have wondered the exact same thing. Thanks a million, Simmerjeet, for asking that question, and I'm sorry we couldn't answer fully during the live session. But as I explain this, you'll all see that this is not a question that can be made clear in just a few words. So we decided to make a whole video about it. So what is the shelf life of tea? Does tea go bad? While we were preparing for this video, we did a quick Google search on the topic, and unfortunately, the first page results were far from ideal. Some claim that loose leaf tea doesn't really go bad, but rather expires because they lose aroma and flavor. That's simply wrong. So can tea go bad? Yes, of course it can. We'll be addressing this question and other confusion and hopefully, by the end of the video, you'll have some idea of how you want to address this. If this is your first time here, hey there, I'm Phil. Otherwise, welcome back, y'all. I'm still Phil. Me and Jen run an online tea boutique called Gen Tea, and our whole mission in life is to bring you guys real tasting grade, quality Chinese tea, and accurate information about Chinese tea and its culture. On our channel, we do tea tastings, tea region travel logs, we do how-to videos, and a ton more stuff. Please consider subscribing if you're also a tea lover. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you won't miss any of our latest videos or live events. One of the reasons tea storage and tea expiry date is interesting and somewhat controversial is that tea is a processed produce. It's not quite like uh, fresh veggies that we see at the grocery store. We go, to the sh we go to the grocery store, we see them on the shelf, they're sitting there with no expiry date on them. You also don't even know when they were harvested. If there's a couple rotten ones there, it's not a big deal. We don't want the whole pile, but one or two, right? We just avoid them. No one's going to make a fuss because we really understand the nature of produce. But the tea we consume, on the other hand, is not quite like this. They're not fresh leaves, they're processed. However, they aren't quite the same as other processed food that we see in the grocery store either which often have preservatives added to make sure they don't go bad before a given expiry date. Sometimes these dates are carefully calculated in labs after some kind of environmental stress test. This also doesn't seem to be the right fit for tea. If this isn't cause enough for confusion, don't forget that we also talk about aging tea. So how does all this stuff fit together? To get to the bottom of this topic, we're going to look at this from two angles that could possibly compromise the shelf life of tea. The first one are the exterior factors, which include packaging and the environment. And the second is the interior factor, which comes from inside the tea leaves themselves. The big enemies of tea storage are sunlight, water, heat, and odor. For most teas, storing them in a well-sealed container or package in a dry, cool place away from the sun is just the best way to go and prolong its shelf life. We have a video that goes into detail about how to store tea and even how to age it, so be sure to check that out. I won't be repeating that information here, but if you store the tea properly, it takes months and sometimes even years for it to go bad. Now this go bad is mostly about losing flavor and aroma. The concept is actually similar to yogurt's expiry date. If stored properly, even if it's a day or two past the expiry date, Yogurt isn't just rotten or inedible because of that. Rather, it's very likely to have lost some substantial quantities of that good bacteria that is part of the reason we all eat and love yogurt. In effect, the yogurts actually become stale. However, tea can go bad, making it unsafe to drink and even harmful to our bodies. This going bad is moldy or even rotten, not safe for consumption and quite literally bad. This is usually caused by water, possibly from high humidity in the storage environment, or the tea doesn't meet the quality standard and the leaf itself contains the moisture. Now let me rewind that a bit and say that again. What I'm saying is it's possible for the tea leaf itself to contain too much moisture and actually go bad. That means get moldy or rotten by being improperly made. So make sure you buy tea from a trustworthy and knowledgeable merchant who truly understands tea because the nuances of moisture level in tea are not readily apparent to the untrained eye. Another way to prevent your tea from going moldy is to store it properly, especially if you are trying wet storage for aging tea. Guangzhou has a very representative wet storage climate, which is warm and humid. 
Around the year 2010, the Guangzhou Center for Disease Control and Prevention spot-checked PUR-T that was readily available on the market and found that all the samples they collected contained aflatoxins, which can cause a liver damage and even liver cancer. This doesn't mean wet storage is bad, but it does show the importance of storing tea properly, especially, 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 especially wet storing tea properly. There's a common misconception that the moldy flavor in wet-aged puar is the taste of age, but that is simply not the case. Teas can and do become contaminated when stored improperly, becoming a lovely home for aflatoxin, E. coli, and other nasties. It's really important to get your taste buds calibrated correctly and recognize the difference between aged tea and spoiled tea. So is there an expiry date for tea from a tasting and health perspective? Strictly speaking, not really. There's no strict point in time that a tea becomes expired, but there are some simple guidelines and timeframes, thank heavens, that we can reply on. While the China National Standard for Tea suggests that dark tea, white tea, and dark oolong teas are, quote, suitable for long-term aging in proper conditions, end quote, there's not clear guidelines for green tea, yellow tea, black tea, or green oolong teas. Most companies put their own recommendation varying from maybe 18 months to up to three years right on the package. This provides a good guideline for us, but definitely not a strict rule. There are so many different teas in each category, and even teas with the same name, like Lomjin and Taeguanyin, for example, which have an abundance of varying grades. In the grand scheme of things, the better the quality of the tea, the longer it will preserve and the better it will taste. If you bought a oolong tea, regardless whether it's a green oolong or a dark one, if the taste and aroma fall flat in just a few months, and you took all the proper precautions to store it properly, it could also be an issue with the quality of the tea itself. These teas are usually super beautiful and lovely at first sight, catering to the popular tea trend of the earlier the better, and appealing to those who are just getting into tea without much experience or knowledge about it. We are not big fans of this kind of tea, as they are usually focused on overwhelming aroma and blunt flavors. We stubbornly insist on authentic, properly made tea that provides balanced aroma, complex taste, rich flavor, thick mouthfeel, and lingering aftertaste and return sweet. This is also known as well-made tea. And consequently, the shelf life is relatively longer. If you've been following us for a while, I'll bet you've noticed that we don't rush to have the earliest tea, especially in spring when many are so eager to announce the arrival of this, this year's green tea. Our green tea arrives when it gets here. It might be May, it might be June. Our yen cha, some of my favorite teas, also known as rock oolongs, won't be on the website until October or November. We believe it pays to be patient with tea. Let it take the time it requires to be properly processed so that you don't have to rush to drink it up before it loses its flavor. You can take the time you need and enjoy the tea at your leisure and still experience a delightful sip. We serve discerning tasters, not trend followers. When stored properly, our green, yellow, black, and green oolong teas have a shelf life of about three years, while white, dark oolongs, and dark teas are suitable for long-term aging. But of course, you can drink them anytime you like. The very nature of green and yellow tea values freshness and briskness, so don't hesitate to drink those up. Although they won't lose their flavors, they're also not going to improve with time. Our black tea and yen cha peak in flavor when they've matured for a year or two. If you are into aging tea, be sure to check out our white tea, premium oolongs, and dark tea selection, as they are from prime terroir, meticulously made and prudently selected by a real Chinese tea expert. These are teas most definitely worth aging. Be sure to check out our video on how to store tea, which also provides insight on how to age tea. I'm sure it'll be helpful whether you are aging our teas or others. I hope this video answers your questions about the expiry date of tea and its shelf life. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. We'd love to have you in our tea family. If you have any thoughts or questions you want to share, please don't hesitate to leave them down in the comments below. It'll very likely be super helpful for other fellow tea lovers. And until next time, keep steeping!